Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to show you five different ways to set up a model using OpenTX on the RadioMaster TX16S. This will relate to any radio that has the big colour screen and the latest version of OpenTX. First method is using the inbuilt wizard, which is a Lua script that's already preloaded. Push and hold the enter button, choose model select push and hold the button again and select create, create new model. Then it opens up the wizard and we can choose what we want to set up, glider or plane, we'll go for plane. Then it'll walk you through a few questions and you just have to answer as appropriate and it'll set the model up for you. So does it have a motor? Yes. What channel is it on? Channel 3. Very good. Next page. Number of ailerons on your model, 2 or one with a Y cable, or none. Let's go for two. And which channels do you want it on? Channel one and channel five, that'll do me. Does your model have flaps? Let's say no. Pick the tail con configuration, one channel for elevator, one for rudder. Uh, so channel, four, channel two for the elevator, channel four for the rudder, just accept that. And that is set up and it's asking do I need to change anything? You can change it if you want to, or you can say yes, proceed. So here's the model. At the moment it's called Model 32. Let's just back out of there. And it gives us kind of a blank screen with no picture, but just the Model 32 uh, name there. So let's go to Model Setup, push the Model button. We can give it a name as appropriate. We can choose a picture, we can set up timers now, there are three timers we can set up, I won't go through that. And importantly we can uh, bind the receiver, so I'll choose the internal module for this one, multi-module and whatever receiver system you want to bind it to. Let's go to the next page, we have flight modes. Now these are the three most important screens, the inputs, the mixer, the outputs. The inputs relate to the sticks, the switches, the knobs, all of that sort of stuff. And on this screen we can change how the inputs work. Uh, note at this stage we're not assigning inputs to channels, this is just uh, modifying how the inputs work. And now we'll have a look at the output screen. The output screens are the actual channels. So channels are where you plug servos into the, your receiver. And in between those two is the mixer page where we assign inputs to channels and mix them together. Moving on, we also have a curves page, global variables, logical switches and special functions. And in special functions, we can set up switches to do specific things like uh, activate a variometer or call out values or something like that. But that's basically how you set up using the wizard. Let's go to method number two. Push the enter button again, model select, push the button again and we'll create model. Now we'll just, instead of going to the wiki, we can just exit out of this one and it sets up the model. Let's go and see what it's done. called it Model 33, Flight Modes, Inputs. Uh, it's done the same thing pretty much, except that it's, it's set it up with the default inputs, which is aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. Puts aileron input onto channel one, elevator input onto channel two, throttle input onto channel three, rudder input onto channel four. And we can define how this happens by default. I'll show you that in a minute, but we'll just go through to the end now. And all the rest of the stuff is uh, nothing else set up. Now if we push and hold the system button we get into the radio setup and we'll page through to radio setup, this one here, if we scroll down here we get to choose the default channel order and you can see I have AETR here and you can choose all different variations on that uh, four channel default setup. AETR is my usual default, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder on the first four channels. You can choose that. 
and now we can edit that model that's just been created in the default method, um, call it a different name, give it an image and do the other setups. Now to the third method which is duplicating a previous model which is probably the best way to set up I think uh, because you can set up all these different screens you can have different widgets showing on the screen uh, you can have subsequent screens default switches set up and all that sort of stuff so let's try that method model select now I have a couple of preset models here 4 channel, 5 channel and an INAV uh, so let's push and hold on the 4 channel, duplicate the model and we'll select that model and you can see I now have a timer, I have out some outputs uh, a default picture which I can change and a name called 4 channel I also have a second screen which has all the outputs on it there uh, so they're the only two screens all that information has been copied over to this new model now for the fourth way, which is where you set up absolutely everything by yourself. So let's try that one. Model select, create model. We'll exit out of that. Now the model has been set up. So let's go and edit it now. Page across inputs. We can just delete all the inputs. Now you don't need to have any inputs if you don't want to. Kind of an extra step that you don't really need to do if you're just going to use simple inputs in your mixes. We go to the next page, you can see we can delete all of these pre-entered mixes. Get rid of them. And now if I just push the enter button, it will pre-enter uh, Aileron as my mix. You can see there, and that is the aileron stick. It's not the aileron input that was defined before. This is the pure aileron stick. And we can go in and edit that. We can change the weight. We can choose Expo here if we want to, or different functions. Differential as well. Say we'll put 30% Expo on here. So channel 1 is now 100% of the aileron stick, not the aileron input. Aileron stick with 30% expo. Alright, so now we'll go to channel 2 and we'll get the elevator automatically set up there. Go to channel 3, we'll get the throttle automatically set up there. And channel 4, the rudder automatically set up there. So now I can go in and edit them however I want. Paging through and there's nothing else set here. Now the fifth and probably the most powerful way to, to set up models in OpenTX is to use OpenTX Companion which is the companion program that works with OpenTX and uh, allows you to connect your radio to your computer, flash new firmware, set up models and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. So we will connect the radio and to do that you hold the T1 and T4 trims in and push the start button until it starts up. That'll start up in bootloader mode. Now we connect USB, USB connected. So now what we can do is with this icon we can read the models and settings from the Radio Master TX16S and that shows you all the models we've entered. We can uh, edit all of these, uh, we can delete them, move them around, all that sort of fun stuff, but we want to do create a new model. Again, it'll take you through the wizard if you want to, or uh, we can double click on that and edit it directly uh, with all the same sorts of things that we saw on the radio, just that we can do it on the computer. You can insert the module that you're going to use and uh, it's much easier to search through protocols this way. Flight modes, inputs, mixes and outputs. Uh, now I'll just talk a little bit about inputs and mixes. In the mixer page here, if we double click on that and edit it, you can choose the input that you defined in the input screen or any other input as well, including the straight aileron stick, which is what I tend to do like that. So what you define in the inputs page uh, 
isn't actually applied to anything, it's, it just makes them available to be used in other mixes. And you'll see if you're using an input, it'll have an eye in front of it. If, you, if you're using the, the raw stick, then it'll just say the name of the stick or the switch, basically. So say so we're happy with that. We've set up that model. Uh, actually, let's give it a name. Companion model or whatever companion will do. We can actually simulate that model as well. Um, but we won't bother about that in this video. Close that one. There it is there. So now what we can do is copy that back onto the radio. Let's do that. So that is now cop copied back onto the radio. So let's uh, close this down. So now looking at the radio, if we disconnect, exit, Look at our model list, and we have the companion model there as well. So there we go, there are five different ways to set up models using OpenTX. Of course at this stage you don't know whether the control surfaces are moving in the correct direction or by the correct amount, so you would have to connect up a model, have a look at how the control surfaces move and make your adjustments in the um, editing in the radio. Okay, that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching.